fake fun. It's fake. I'm wearing a love. It's fake. It's not in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Exhilarating experience. <laughs> in, in Vancouver, we had a horse sashimi. Yeah. So raw horse, which we didn't order it. We were like out with dinner, and someone was just bringing a bunch of shit to the table, and we ate it. We we're like, oh, this is good. Is this like wagyu beef or whatever? And they're like, no, that's horse. I ate cat. What? I didn't know I was eating cat. Where were you? I was in Asia. Okay. And they were like, yo, that's a cat. I, no, no, I actually got an allergic reaction. I'm only allergic, I'm only allergic to the cat. I was just like, hey, like, it's cool and all. I mean, it was really good. I should probably know next time. Touch. <laughs> oh, tough. How weird is that? I've where never even touched. Yeah, yes, where, where were you? Yeah, um, I was in um, Italy and it was like, well, like raw herbs, basically. It wasn't my most favorite meal I've ever eaten, I've got to be honest, but I tried it. I tried it. I had chicken heart once in, in Brazil. That was that was actually quite tasty. I had a beef tongue in Mexico once. Pretty good actually. Yeah. I was a really boring eater for years and I've only just got into sushi, so for me scallops a few months ago, that was that was a pretty big thing for me. Yeah. yeah. How how'd it go? Yeah. 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 One thing you wish you were doing at the beginning of your career. Oh, one thing I wish I, you know what? I wish I would have named myself something way cooler. <laughs> you know, like DJ fucking Star Scratch or something like fucking DJ Universe God. Take care of more of my back. Like, don't pick up so many records and like don't uh, have better posture and uh. <laughs> stretch out more and stuff like that. Cause like now my back is fucked. How much work is this gonna be? Uh, yeah. 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 It's not all glitz and glamour. It's not all glitz and glamour, man. Really? You know, it, 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 it's, it, I, I wouldn't change a thing. Okay. But I think that, you know, some people think it's like, it's, you know, popping champagne bottles all the time, but <laughs> it's really not. How to play the game of uh, uh, touring, uh, being a DJ, uh, being a producer, uh, be successful in this world doing that. Not to worry so much. The talent prevails and you just got to stick in the game long enough. That it's going to work. Don't worry about it. If I was to look back and talk to Cascade 25 years ago, I'd say, it's all right, little buddy. It's going to work out. Don't have to worry about it. Not that I was worried that much, but peace yeah. of mind is a nice thing. What do your parents think of what you do? <laughs> My mom thinks that I'm like a wedding DJ. She thinks that like I'm like telling people that like they've left their lights on in the parking lot and their Honda or something. My dad's very inspired by everything that's going on, me and my team and everybody around us. And like he shows it. He's like, like, like oh mijo, like I made I made some beats, I'm gonna send it to you. I'm like, really? I was like, no. You've got your dad making beats. Yes. Uh, my mum was really supportive because she she was actually a happy hardcore raver herself, so she mm -hmm. she um actually helped introduce me to Dougal, who a lot of what I work with now. Um, she's very supportive. My dad also happens to be a musician as well, so yeah, they were both absolutely, absolutely cool with it. For the longest time, my mother thought I was a prostitute. No. Because <laughs> she's like, you leave in BMW, strange men pick you up, and you don't come home all night. You are a child of the night. What do you do? You can tell me. And I was like, I'm not a whore, I'm a DJ. Yeah, they're happy and proud and like, yay. He, he's, he did it. My dad was always like, uh, he comes from a long line of electricians, okay? So it's like, he's an electrician, his grand, his dad was an uh, electrician, his grandfather was an electrician. My brother is an electrician. You we're were, an electrician. You we, were intended to be I was intended to be okay. in the union, being an electrician. There was that moment where my dad was like, hey, if you want a job, I can get you a job in the union. Everything, I'm like, I want to be a DJ, I want to do music. And he kind of fought it for a minute, but eventually he, um, 
he ended up buying me my first sampler. So it was like sort of like Aww. they got it. Sticking!